the Cleveland Cavaliers triumphed over the Los Angeles Lakers in a one-sided 134-110 victory Wednesday night. Despite the loss for the Lakers, the spotlight of the evening shined on a young player with a legacy that loomed large in Cleveland, Bronny James, the son of NBA legend LeBron James. Bronny made his NBA debut memorable with his first basket, a moment that sent the Cleveland crowd into a frenzy. Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. The Lakers found themselves facing a 20-point deficit by the start of the final quarter, with the game nearly out of reach. In response, Lakers head coach J.J. Redick opted to rest his main lineup, swapping in bench players for the remaining minutes. Fans at the Mortgage Fieldhouse had been eyeing the bench all evening, hoping for a glimpse of Bronny in action. As time ticked down, their chants grew louder, calling for the rookie to enter the game. Finally, hearing the crowd's enthusiasm, Redick gave in and sent Bronny in for the last five minutes. The arena erupted in applause, with many fans rising to their feet. Once on the court, Bronny wasted no time. The young player, showing the skill and vision that the James name has come to represent, made two assists and recorded a steal in quick succession. Each play was celebrated by the crowd, eager to see him live up to his potential. But the most electrifying moment of the night came with just under two minutes left on the clock. In a decisive move, Bronny scored his first NBA basket, a smooth two-pointer that brought every fan in the arena to their feet, cheering and applauding. After the game, Redick shared his thoughts on the decision to play Bronny, acknowledging the significance of the moment for both Bronny and the Cleveland crowd. I congratulated him after the game, Redick said, smiling. Your first basket is always special, and doing it here in Cleveland made it that much sweeter. It was just one of those unforgettable nights. The significance of Bronny's debut in Cleveland can't be understated. Cleveland is more than a familiar court for Bronny. It's the place where his life began and where his father's career took off. Born in October 2004, Bronny arrived at a time when LeBron was just starting to leave his mark on the NBA, entering his second season with the Cavaliers, the team that had drafted him first overall in 2003. Four years, fans watched as Bronny grew up alongside LeBron's rising stardom, often catching glimpses of him at games, warming up on the sidelines, or playing around on the court during practice. Bronny's childhood was steeped in the atmosphere of the Mortgage Fieldhouse, where he spent countless hours watching his father play and win. Those who were fans of the Cavaliers during LeBron's early years remember seeing Bronny as a young boy, watching his father in awe from the bench or even participating in some warm-ups, his small stature next to LeBron's towering figure an endearing sight to fans. Cleveland fans stayed connected to the James family even after LeBron left the Cavaliers in 2010 to join the Miami Heat, where he went on to win two NBA championships. But the city's affection for the James family never waned, and LeBron's return to Cleveland in 2014 only deepened the bond. During LeBron's second stint with the Cavs, the city embraced him as their own, celebrating his achievements and welcoming his family with open arms. In 2016, LeBron delivered on his promise to bring an NBA title to Cleveland, giving the city its first major sports championship in over 50 years. The title brought the James family legacy in Cleveland full circle, and fans were thrilled to watch the next generation develop in Bronny, Bryce, and Jury. For Bronny, Cleveland is more than just a place where his father found success. It's home. This is where his story began, where he watched his father, and where he learned to love the game. When LeBron returned to Cleveland in 2014, Bronny had already started to follow in his father's footsteps, showing an early interest in basketball. With each passing year, Bronny's skills developed, and he grew closer to his goal of one day playing professionally. Now, standing on the same court where his father made history, Bronny James is beginning to build his own legacy. His NBA debut, especially with his first basket happening here, feels like a continuation of the family story. As he scored his first points, the Cleveland crowd's cheers were about more than just a rookie's achievement. It was a collective celebration of memories, legacy, and loyalty, a reminder of the unbreakable bond between the James family and the city of Cleveland. LeBron himself, watching from the sidelines, must have felt a powerful sense of nostalgia and pride. He's always been vocal about the importance of his family, and seeing his son begin to carve out his own space in the NBA must have been an emotional moment. Over the years, LeBron has spoken about his dreams of one day sharing the court with his son, a moment that, given Bronny's early success, seems increasingly likely. The night ended with more than just a Cleveland win. For those who watched, it was a night to witness the beginning of what could be another extraordinary NBA career. For Cleveland fans, it was a moment to reconnect with memories of LeBron's early years, 
and to see those memories come full circle through Bronny's achievements. The Lakers' matchup against the Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday night was challenging from the start. The team fell behind early in the first quarter, struggling to keep up and eventually closing out the game with a 134-110 loss. This defeat brings the Lakers' season record to 3-2 and marks their second consecutive loss on this five-game road stretch. The next opportunity for redemption comes Friday against the Toronto Raptors. Throughout the season's first four games, Anthony Davis had been a powerhouse, leading the team with impressive performances. However, this game was different. Davis posted 22 points, all of which he scored before the fourth quarter, before he appeared to slow down. Observers noted he was in visible discomfort as the game progressed, a concern for a team that relies on his contributions to stay competitive. Early in the game, Davis took a blow to the face, which seemed to rattle him, but it was an additional injury to his hip that raised greater concern. Davis later explained that he had hurt his hip in the first quarter, and while the injury caused him significant discomfort, he assured fans and teammates that he expects to be back on the court for Friday's game. Anthony Davis mentioned his hip locked up during the first quarter, reported ESPN's Dave McMenamin. But he believes he'll be able to play in Toronto, despite the setback. For Lakers fans, this update brought a sense of relief, knowing that Davis is determined to push through the injury to keep contributing to his team. The Lakers face a critical early season challenge in trying to secure wins on the road, which can be difficult even for a seasoned team. With the road stretch still underway, these away games are crucial opportunities to build momentum, test their stamina, and improve team cohesion. However, to make a successful push during the stretch, the Lakers need Davis at peak performance. The team relies on his scoring ability, rebounding, and defensive presence, especially in the absence of other key players. Head coach J.J. Redick has emphasized the importance of getting road wins to build confidence early in the season and avoid falling behind. He also acknowledged that injuries and early setbacks are part of the game, especially for players like Davis who are consistently active on both ends of the court. Davis's ability to play through discomfort, Redick noted, is a testament to his resilience and determination. Nevertheless, the coaching staff is expected to keep a close eye on Davis's condition and ensure he receives the necessary treatment and rest to avoid aggravating his hip injury further. For Davis, who has experienced a series of injuries throughout his career, staying healthy is crucial not only for his performance but for the team's overall success. In past seasons, injuries have sidelined him for extended periods, leaving a noticeable gap in the Lakers' defense and scoring. His teammates and fans alike are hopeful that this recent hip issue is minor and won't impact his gameplay in the long term. Davis's return to form this season has been encouraging for the Lakers, who are counting on him to play a pivotal role in their pursuit of playoff success. The remaining games in this road trip, including the matchup against the Raptors, will serve as an early test of the Lakers' adaptability and mental toughness. With Davis's status uncertain, the coaching staff may need to consider additional strategic adjustments. Players like LeBron James and D'Angelo Russell will likely take on more offensive responsibilities, while the team's bench depth will be put to the test. If Davis's hip injury lingers, younger players such as Austin Reeves and Rue Hakimura might see increased minutes and be called upon to elevate their game defensively and offensively. The Lakers' front office has also been observing the team's performance in these road games. Rumors around potential trades and roster adjustments are already swirling, as the organization looks to find the right balance to support Davis and James. The team is reportedly considering options to add more bench depth and defensive support, particularly to account for situations where key players like Davis might not be at full strength. These potential changes underscore the team's urgency to create a lineup capable of sustaining a high level of play throughout the long NBA season. For Davis, this hip setback is just one more challenge in a career marked by resilience. Despite the injury, he remains determined to stay on the court and contribute to the Lakers' efforts. His ability to bounce back from injuries has been a defining part of his career, and fans respect his commitment to pushing through difficult moments. While Davis's health remains a concern, he seems focused on recovery and has already committed to doing whatever it takes to be ready for Toronto. Social media has been buzzing with messages from Lakers fans, who have expressed their support for Davis and the team. Many fans recognize the challenges of the road games and are hopeful that the team can secure a win against the Raptors. For the fan base, having a healthy Davis is essential for the Lakers to maintain their competitive edge and build toward a successful season. With the Raptors matchup just around the corner, Lakers fans are waiting anxiously to see if Davis can take the court and continue the momentum he showed in the season's opening games. His presence on the court brings a level of confidence and security for the team, 
knowing they can rely on him in high-pressure situations. The coming games will be a critical period not only for Davis's health but for the Lakers' season as a whole. If Davis can remain healthy, it could be the turning point the Lakers need to find success on the road and establish themselves as contenders this season. As the Lakers look to continue their road stretch, the team's resilience will be put to the test. Road games are notorious for challenging even the strongest teams, and the Lakers' performance in the upcoming matchups will be closely watched by fans, analysts, and the entire league. While the focus remains on securing wins, there is an underlying emphasis on preserving the health and strength of key players like Davis. In Toronto, the Lakers will face a Raptors team known for its energetic play and strong defense. Toronto's roster includes young, athletic players who thrive on fast-paced, physical gameplay, which could pose a challenge for Davis, especially if his hip injury continues to linger. The Raptors' defensive strategies will likely target Davis and James, making it imperative for other Lakers players to step up and share the scoring load. As the Lakers navigate this stretch, the team's bond and trust in each other will be essential. The leadership of veterans like LeBron James will play a pivotal role in keeping spirits high and encouraging resilience, especially during tough stretches. For fans and analysts, these games will serve as an early indicator of the Lakers' potential, both as individual players and as a cohesive unit. In summary, Anthony Davis's hip injury is a concern for the Lakers as they continue their road journey. While Davis has reassured fans of his determination to play, his health remains a central focus for the team. The Lakers need every ounce of strength and talent to secure victories on the road, and Davis's ability to overcome this setback will be a defining factor in their success. With a supportive fan base and a seasoned roster, the Lakers are poised to tackle the challenges ahead, hoping to turn this road stretch into a rallying point for the season. The Lakers have kicked off a promising season, but their front office is already exploring future options. Free agency never seems too far off for a team like the Lakers, especially with players from the 2021 draft class who have yet to secure long-term contracts. Recently, Bleacher Report's Eric Pincus highlighted 10 potential restricted free agents from that class, including Memphis forward Santi Aldama, a young talent who could be an ideal addition to Los Angeles. At just 23 years old, Aldama is quickly making a name for himself. His recent season opener with the Grizzlies showcased his potential, where he scored 27 points, collected 5 rebounds, and dished 2 assists, leading his team to a 126-124 victory over the Jazz. Shooting 10-4-16 overall, 5-4-10 from 3, and converting both free throws, he's proving to be a potent offensive force. Pincus noted Aldama's versatility, mentioning that although he isn't a defensive specialist, he has a strong offensive game. His skill as a floor spacer makes him appealing to teams that value shooters in their front court. In his evaluation, Pincus remarked on Aldama's three-point shooting, noting he made 34.9% of his shots from beyond the arc last season and mentioning that teams interested in Aldama could offer up to the $14.1 million projected non-taxpayer mid-level exception. His stats support this interest. Last season, he played 61 games, 35 of which he started, averaging 10.7 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 2.3 assists over about 26.5 minutes. He also had a productive summer with Spain's national team in the Paris Olympics, where he was named MVP of the Olympic qualifying tournament. This recent international success has added a boost of confidence and experience that would be valuable to any team. With his projected contract estimated at three years for $40 million, Aldama has a range of potential suitors, including the Nets, Bulls, Warriors, Pacers, and, of course, the Lakers. The possibility of a return to Memphis remains on the table as well. He has shown an impressive ability to score at all levels, especially with his catch-and-shoot three-pointers. His smooth jumper makes him a valuable asset, particularly in a Lakers lineup that relies on strong three-point shooting. Anthony Davis has already proven to thrive in J.J. Redick's system, which emphasizes floor spacing and offensive flexibility. Adding Aldama would be a strategic move to bolster the Lakers' frontcourt, adding depth and enhancing their perimeter game. Alongside his shooting, Aldama's rebounding skills have shown improvement, especially evident during the preseason. His combination of height, shooting accuracy, and rebounding instinct makes him an intriguing target for Los Angeles. With these skills, he could mesh well with Lakers stars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis, offering additional offensive options and a reliable presence on the glass. His ability to extend the floor while still contributing under the rim is precisely what the Lakers need to maximize the effectiveness of their superstar core. 
Aldama's recent performances have raised questions among fans about why the Lakers might not pursue a trade for him this season rather than waiting for free agency. However, it's unlikely that Memphis is considering moving him. Injuries have plagued their front court, making Aldama's role even more vital to the Grizzlies' current rotation. Lakers GM Rob Palinka's approach suggests patience. You can't buy a house that's not for sale. Memphis head coach Taylor Jenkins echoed that sentiment praising Aldama's hard work and hinting at the Grizzlies' future with him on the roster. Aldama's strong showings this season and his increasing value within the Grizzlies' lineup indicate that Memphis isn't likely to part with him soon. Still, the Lakers could keep a close eye on him. They're expected to have contracts coming off the books next summer, including D'Angelo Russell, Christian Wood, Jackson Hayes, and Cam Reddish, which would open up salary flexibility for a potential offer. Targeting Aldama in free agency could position the Lakers to secure a valuable addition without forcing a trade. As the season progresses, Aldama's unique skills could make him an invaluable asset for a team like the Lakers. His floor spacing, rebounding, and scoring ability create the ideal blend of qualities for a role in LA's system. His contributions would add a new dimension to the team's frontcourt, giving head coach J.J. Redick more options in building lineups that emphasize spacing, movement, and three-point shooting. Aldama's progress on the international stage and consistent improvement in the NBA make him an exciting prospect for any team. The Lakers would gain not only his current skill set, but also his potential to grow and evolve, especially with the support of experienced teammates and a strong organizational culture. Aldama has proven to be more than just a role player, and he could provide valuable depth in a playoff contending lineup. If the Lakers pursue Aldama, they'd be looking at a young player who could deliver right away while also continuing to develop. With LeBron James and Anthony Davis still performing at elite levels, the Lakers aim to maximize their chances in every possible way. Adding a player like Aldama, who brings both offensive versatility and rebounding prowess, would be a wise investment that aligns with the team's vision and needs. By keeping tabs on him throughout this season, the Lakers are preparing for the possibility of building a balanced and dynamic lineup next year, with Aldama potentially playing a pivotal role in their continued championship pursuit.